coronavirus conspiracy theories were inevitable, Britain's former security chief admitted tonight, as he warned of rogue states and terror groups trying to develop and deploy biological weapons. Lord Zedwill highlighted debunked claims the disease was man-made and accidentally escaped from a research lab. Comparing the 2018 Novichok attack on a former Russian double agent in Wiltshire with the COVID-19 pandemic, he said, You might think a naturally occurring public health crisis of this scale doesn't really have much in common with Salisbury or the other threats, and it is clear COVID-19 was a natural disaster, we are absolutely clear about that. But it did lead to the biggest public health emergency this century, and the biggest economic crisis at least since the Great Depression. What it has done is demonstrate the potential economic and social impact of a disease of this kind, which is natural security experts we have to be conscious of when thinking about the potential threats that might arise from a hostile state, a criminal terrorist group who might be tempted to develop and deploy biological weapons. Close quote The independent peer who was known as Sir Mark said Will, when he was the Prime Minister's National Security Advisor, said the global pandemic sparked a series of claims about its origin. Lord said Will was ousted as NSA and Cabinet Secretary earlier this month after reports of tensions between him and senior members of Boris Johnson's team, including Chief Advisor Dominic Cummings, was in NO10 when Russian spies carried out a nerve agent attack on former double agent Sir J. Skripal and his daughter Yulia in Salisbury. The pair survived. But a British woman, Dawn Sturgis, later died after becoming accidentally poisoned with Novichok. Addressing the Royal United Services Institute military think tank, Lord Zedwill said, In some respects, chemical weapons are the most straightforward of the various threats in the title of this conference, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. highly toxic nerve agent of the kind we have seen used, whether it's sarin in Syria, VX in Kuala Lumpur or Novichok in the UK, can be identified as a chemical weapon. It probably isn't an accident, and it certainly isn't a natural event, and there's a very clear defense and security interest and role in this process. But biological threats are inherently more complex. Typically, they involve the use of naturally occurring biological agents to cause diseases which themselves occur in nature, such as plague, anthrax and Ebola, so it might not be immediately obvious whether a disease outbreak has occurred as a result of nature, or of accident, or of deliberate action. Even on COVID-19 for example, undoubtedly a natural phenomenon, such has been the public health and economic impact there have been conspiracy theories, inevitably, about whether it was man-made and spread accidentally, or by design. One could imagine how they could happen in other circumstances. The operational response will be the same. Close quote.